Yeah, so obviously we had a lot of guys who raced in go-karts and Limbom and Josh Scott, who was who we were also saying. Mm. Um, I, w- I always knew you for your red go-kart. Do you actually still have that? I wish. I'd you love to track it down. Yeah. Anymore. It's so weird. I don't know how I've gone about it, but when I raced karts, everything yeah. was red. Yeah. And now everything's, uh, green. everything's green. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I don't, but I'd love to track it down. Yeah, I'd pay yeah. good money for that car. Any of them. Probably my the original one, the AX5. Um, paid fifteen hundred bucks for it. Mm. I remember it's funny, like you now the shit I buy now, it's fucking drop in the ocean. My road is worth more. <laughs> but I remember going to Wagga to buy my first go kart, sold my Honda Odyssey, my motorbike, and I had a roll for fifteen hundred dollars. And I thought that was mm. like I could retire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was ready to retire my fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, and um, but yeah, I'd love to find that one. It went to a bloke, I think in Canberra or Tomorrow. Yeah. Um. Yeah, with an old clubbing on it. So if anyone has an old AX5. Yeah, and they're listening to this yeah, podcast. Yeah, bent to the shit house, it'd be mine. Yeah. <laughs> In someone's garage yeah. collecting dust yeah. right now. Yeah, I'll buy I'll rebuy it off you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you have the one like I I did yeah. back then, um, switch motors. Did you just switch motors on that cart back then or did you uh, or did you just did, did you have like two or three carts that you had on, like, two. You know? yeah. yeah. So Oh, through like the Southern Zone, like the regional stuff, mm. we only had just the one, the AX6, which was like a J, we are on J, J Fats or J Heavy. Yeah. Um, and then when I moved up into like the Premier State Cup and doing state title stuff, mm. I still had two, but just mainly focused on the one in Junior Clubman. Yeah. So it was, um, it's, I don't think, just trying to think. No, that's it. I only had two. Yeah. So that yeah. was it. Yeah. It was, um, but yeah, I never, it's funny like these days. When you go go karting, people got test carts, race carts. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. I yeah, just, I just bought like that's why I was hitting you up on yeah. Facebook ages ago just to buy a go kart yeah. just to have a go. They actually yeah. have test carts now. Yeah, mate, it's nuts. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. and they like we'll we'll filter a chassis through. I don't know if it's any good thing. It's just in their minds, but um, hmm. you know, people should filter chassis throughs after three races. Really? Yeah, three or four races. Yeah, Dinkin. Yeah, it's huge dollars. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit, massive, mate. The <laughs> budgets that these kids are telling me they're racing with, I'm like, dude, I can race. Yeah. Like, Couple of super twos, yeah. That's nuts. Wow. Yeah. What do you what do you what do you think of? Obviously, you've seen um, you know, Tom Williamson, yeah, run Tom, his yep. his go kart team straight yep. to supercars. Do you think best program? Do you, Such do you think a that's idea. a great program. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Obviously, every program needs the budget. Like every driver has to bring a budget. So yep. if he, you know the program's only as good as the budget it brings. So you know BJR isn't going to go roll a super three out for free, mm. and Tom's not going to go to the track for free. So if you got a couple of drivers that I know, Ellie Morrow, Mar- yep, is that yep. how you she's, she's in your field this weekend. Yeah, yeah. she's in Super 3 this weekend. She's, you know, um, she's with, uh, has been with Tom doing the KZ2 and then Super 3. But, you know, she's been testing all year. Yep. And that, I've always said, I reckon it's the smartest thing because you've only got a very short time to make an impact um, to bigger teams. And that's something that I have never been able to do because I don't have the money to make an impact. Mm. I, I have to plot along over the years to to build up the team yeah. but you know to for someone like ellie to do that and i think what was the um there's another young dude is that's the been jackson doing harlow Susan Jack, Har- yeah. is he coming through the ranks or mm. is there someone else through tom's program that's coming through jackson's done a test day i've yep. got a f- story about jackson okay, okay. you can yep. tell about yep. <laughs> ellie or oh, i'm pretty i'm pretty uh, cool with that. so jackson when i was racing speedway yep i got a podium it wasn't when i got first i think it was when i got third in yep. sprint cars and i only ever keep one trophy mm. from a class and then I used to give them away. So if I had a first, the second and thirds can be given away. Yep. And so I had a first prior and then I had a third afterwards. And as I was walking from the, the podium, I gave a kid a trophy. Mm. And then a year or two later, I'm at the go-kart track. And what year was this? Like 2009, 2010? Uh, I was 18, yeah, 9, 10. Yeah, was this like a track? 10. Do you remember? Was it a, or was it a, was it a track day? Like, a, you know, obviously a club day? Or was it a to World see- Series? Or was it a World Series race back then? Uh, no, I was a podium on a, like a club day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So because the first podium at Parramatta was a B... My first win was the BBX 10,000, which was when the Americans were over. Yep. And then I didn't get one for ages. Then it was a third, which is like a club day. I call it club days. Yeah. It? Sp- sp- I, I club call them club shows yeah. for them. Yeah, club shows, yeah. yeah. So it was just a club show. And I gave this kid a trophy and I was at the track and he's like, oh, hey, I don't think you remember us, but you gave my son a trophy and now we're go-karting. And that was Jackson Susan Harlow. And he, and it's funny, it's such a small thing, but that's actually probably one of my 
highlights of my career because mm. I know such a small thing has made him probably his dad's hate me because he's broke. He's gonna be broke for going <laughs> racing, but such a small thing has now made him. He's now racing. He's one of Australia's best X thirty drivers. Um, that made him progress into speedway uh, in, into cars, yeah. and hopefully, like I'd love to see him into cars. Um, but you know, it's all budgets and stuff like that. But he's a good driver and he's going really well. So, yeah. there. That was a little little side yeah. side story about Jackson. Well, yeah. you were talking about obviously the Americans. Yep. Now, now because of COVID, they can't come over. I, mean, yep. I think they're trying to bring them back over now because of the whole New South Wales thing. They're allowing yeah. people from America to come in. Um, what was it like racing sprint cars back then with the big crowds? Was, was it overwhelming for you? And like, do you remember the, like, were you, did you idolize Kinzer and those blokes back well, then? Or my, did you just think yeah. of them as just like another competitor? Like to me, yeah. when I race myself, I just think, you know what? They're just another competitor. I won't get too starstruck by them. You yeah. know, like, you know, but for you back then in sprint cars, obviously there's a lot of merchandise going around yeah. and that type of thing. Yeah. Were you, were you, did you, were you even tempted to like buy their shirts while you were oh, 100%. racing? hundred percent. Yeah. You were. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's why my car's green. Yeah, right. Okay. That's why all my stuff's green. Steve Kinzer. Yeah, right. So okay. Speedway used to be, oh, still are very paranoid with colours. Can't eat chicken. Mm. No green stuff. And someone said, oh, you can't have a green car. You know, it's unlucky. And I was like, well, Steve Kinzer's like 20-time world champion. Yeah. All green cars. Yeah. So screw you. I'm going green. <laughs> that's why I went green. Um, yeah. And I've stayed green. Um, but I don't know. Like, I've always looked up to those sort of guys, but they – but I've never really got starstruck as such either. Mm. And, you know, Brooke Tatnall was always really yep. good to chat to. I, I've got his suit. I've got his Shell Helix suit in my shed, signed. Um, you even wore that, didn't you? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah I actually <laughs> wore that. I actually was wearing it and I walked to him and said, can you sign my suit? And he's like, I love that suit. Don't regret ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> That's bloody yeah. awesome. Yeah, so That's I might so um, I might set it. Because that was his, his last suit um, before he stopped racing for his dad. Yeah. So it's a bit of a special one to him. So, um, uh, yeah, but in, I don't know, like I've, one thing I don't, I've always thought I was a bit weird when I went to the go-kart or just any track because I really have emotion. Mm. Like I don't, I don't get nervous. You know, when I see someone that's heats, I know their heats better than me, but I don't, I don't get giddy or anything like that. So I've never really been like that. Like, um, but I've always been impressed by people. Like when I'm out on the track, so like I remember at Parramatta one day, I'm, I thought I was on the high line and Donnie shots went around the outside of me. Yep. And I'm like, I thought I was on the high line and he went around the outside of me. So it just, there's just levels. And you know, that's where I sort of get that. Holy yeah. shit. That and, guy and those good. cars were yeah. actually like, they're like extra spare cars from the States that they'll bring yeah. over here. Yeah. They weren't, nuts. they weren't any good, but no. they were, they were still beating us like you guys and oh, the other local us. talent, Sam yeah. Walsh and that. Yeah. Just around the outside yeah. and just driving like a maniac. Another dude I rate massively, yeah. Sammy Walsh. You do? Yeah. 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 To be out of the seat as long as he was on the sidelines with no sponsors and shit mm. to then getting that, um, that rocket deal. And mm. you could just see the change. Like, I think he's one of the blokes, if you were to get him when he was younger and send to the States full time, you know, he'd be, he'd be full time for sure. Yeah. Do you reckon yeah. he'd have a story like you? Should I bring him into the studio? Yeah. Later? He'd be good actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's a nice dude. Yeah. Really nice dude. Yeah, hopefully he is this. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. No, he's a, he's, a, I, th I think Sammy was, Slightly older than me in go-karts as well. Yeah. 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 You guys were racing as I was just coming in. And um, I remember back then you had to sign in, you know, you wait in line at the, at the local right. kart yeah, track and yeah, all yeah. us guys would line in to sign into yeah, the, yeah. you know, and enter yep. for the, you could enter on the day back. That's right. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. You didn't have to do it online. Yeah. yeah. Which is, I don't know if that'd be a good thing again or not, because people to, look at the entry list online now and be like, ah, there's only four entry. I won't go. Yeah. To but, be honest, it's a bit of a, sh like. I found it a bit of a shit show when I had to enter for last weekend's race at um, in Formula Ford. Like there was like, uh, you would have had the same thing. Obviously you're in supercars, but there was about like, I don't know, 20 forms to sign online. Oh, and mate. it's just a total shit show. You're spending yeah. half your day just signing away all this stuff. Yeah. I, I said to supercars the other day, I was like, mate, I need a, I'll need a PA just to do your paperwork. 